Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Cattle Facts Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. Draxon delivers more from the start. Using Draxon injectable solution on arrival can help give cattle a healthy start with fewer costly retreats. Draxon demonstrated 50% fewer retreats in several studies. Learn more at draxon.com. D-R-A-X-X-I-N.com. Of the three major proteins, beef production is again showing the largest year-over-year -year production growth, but pork production is falling closely in second. Total beef production is running up 3.3% year-to-date, with pork production up 2.3%. The two industries have much in common today to drive historically strong levels of profit, which are encouraging producers to keep marketings alive. Exports are performing well for beef and pork, carcass weights are down for both, and price has seen extreme rallies in each market. Fed cattle are generating about a $250 per head profit today, with peak profits in late April surpassing even record profits from the 2014 rally. The estimated hog producer margin per head reached a new 2017 high last week, around $50 per head of profit. Profit margins for hogs reached as high as $90 per head in 2014, but unmeasured losses from a PED virus could mean profits today are actually just as good, if not better. Leverage is only slightly weaker for the hog complex compared to last year. Last week, the USDA Iowa-Minnesota live hog price made up 67.39% of the wholesale pork cutout. The same week, this ratio in the same week was the peak of this ratio in 2016, reaching as high as 70.05%, which is still three percentage points lower than the five-year average. Against past years, hog leverage is far from the best, but strength to the pork cutout has brought value back to the hog producer. Likely within a few weeks of the annual seasonal high, the pork cutout finished last week at $94.90 per hundredweight. This price is nearly $5 per hundredweight over the 2016 pork cutout top. Keep in mind, the year-over-year -year increase can be directly attributed to the demand for the pork belly. Measured year-over-year -year on June 17th, the belly has increased in price by $7.11 per hundredweight. Without the pork belly, the pork cutout would be below year-ago levels today. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.